I'm crying and I look like her grandma. <laughs> <laughs> you do. My grandma had an apron just like that. <laughs> my grandma and this is it <laughs> i love that apron <laughs> say, say that you might get kicked off we, it's very possible we could get kicked off you guys because the server is apparently <laughs> overloaded today and so is lisa <laughs> <laughs> oh my god the why do you always chop onions and cry why <laughs> Talking about the Trump administration, <laughs> the market in a mask, or the onion. I don't know which. Uh, <laughs> that's a big onion. <sighs> big tears. Big tears, girl. <laughs> I know. It feels good, though, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it feels good to just let it out. I just want to get crying. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So what are you doing? Why are you chopping onions? Well, today, folks, and you were just saying to me, why do you go out, Debriana, when you order your eggplant parmesan? Why do you go out, buy it at a restaurant? Well, I always get it in a restaurant because it takes so long to make and I don't make it that often. Hell yeah. All day long affair. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, it's one of those all day long projects. So, but you know, now since we're homebound, it's a perfect time to make it. It's so great because a you have the time, and we know you do. <laughs> and, um, so you can't have that excuse. Um, your family and loved ones love it because the whole thing has to be homemade. You have to make the sauce. You have to make the eggplant. You have to sweat the eggplant, you have to fry the eggplant, you have to get the sauce going, and then you have to bake it and put it together. It's like, ay, ay, ay. It's but, all day long. But it's so great, and I admitted to you this was my favorite, one of my favorite foods. Not probably number one, but I don't know. I have so many, but... And then you said it was yours, too. That is my fave. It is. I always order it in Italian restaurants. My grandmother did, though, she, I don't know why this is, but we don't make it with breadcrumbs. <laughs> I wish I could wipe your little tears. <laughs> um, why don't you make it with breadcrumbs? I have no idea. All I know is my grandma did like a tempura batter. Okay. I know, right? That'll help. <laughs> I the tempura, so mm -hmm. like deep fried in canola oil and tempura. And, yep. With an egg batter, an egg and flour batter, yep. Right. So it was a batter fry, not breadcrumbs. I do. I think a morphing of that. I According to, and I want to do a shout out to cousin Chris Papatone, because as you may not know, in Big Nana's cookbook, <laughs> uh, it says by Aunt Georgia Papatone, which is her mother, who is a lovely, lovely dear aunt and um and nana put little notes in everything and on this dish and several others she would put she would i love how she credited who created it in her own cookbook you know what i mean like yeah, yeah. Like, oh, mine even though it's from someone else right um, she credited whoever created it and then she'd make a little note like this one good this one good. <laughs> You know, Did she put any in the recipe book that were not so good? <laughs> you wouldn't get in the book if they were. Oh, not so see. Good. <laughs> Make a little cut off, you know. So, um, speaking of sweating, are you sweating those onions right now in olive oil? Right now, they're just plain. And then I'm going to add the oil like you were doing the other day. You know, mm -hmm. you're really supposed to get them, um, don't you think, translucent without oil and then you add the oil? I always use oil, but I don't think it matters. The browning happens. It smells so good. Okay. God, why would you ever you come into my house? I'm always cooking onions. <laughs> You're always cooking onions. Why? Why is there this big thing right here? I don't know if you can see it. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, there goes the onion. My own food cam here. Let's see what I can do. Ready? Boom! See that? Oh, nice. Get all the eggplant. Okay, I'm putting it back down. Now there's a whole side of eggplant, but basically each 
each little eggplant. Oh my God, and it's happening beautifully. Has. All right, so I have the little sweat beads on it. Sprinkled sea salt. Yeah. I mean, I usually do this overnight, so it sweats overnight. Yeah. Hey, it sweats the bitterness out of the eggplant. That's what mm -hmm. I was always told. Yep, me too. Um, so it's like beads of sweat, and you're just saying to yourself, oh, I forgot one. You're saying to yourself, oh, is that like my forehead? Um, <laughs> making this dish? That's right. They're menopausal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Again, I tell you, yeah. Yeah, I think we need another one. <laughs> so once it sweats on one side, then you put it on the other side, you sweat the other side, and then they're all sweated out. Yeah, baby. Then what you can do is that's when I'm going to do what I was about to tell you, which is not what your grandma did and not what I think most people do. And I do the eggs and a little bit of half and half with some spices. Mm -hmm. And then I um, do it in pico, which is, you know, like the Japanese breadcrumbs. And then yeah, but I like those breadcrumbs. They didn't have those growing up. We always do those. It has those ones. Those ones. Yeah. So I do it in panko and I do it in hot oil. Um, not olive oil, something that like grapeseed oil or something that can go at a higher, yeah, has a higher temperature. Weird, yeah, smoking point. Mm -hmm. Weird burnt taste of olive oil. You just don't really want to fry an olive oil, right? Mm -hmm. and, right. Well, not at a high temp. I yeah, don't. Not at a high temperature. Not at a high temperature. So um, this, while well, these are sweating and the onions are <laughs> the onions are sweating, the eggplant sweating, Lisa's sweating. sweating. <laughs> it's a sweat fest. I'm not sweating. <laughs> That's a change. <laughs> yoga. Um, so I'm just, you know, starting the sauce. The sauce is going to take a while, but I will build a mini so you can see what the whole platter will be eventually. I'm going to fry one of these up and show you how it layered. And, and I, I bought some uh, mozzarella today, some ovalini. Oh, nice. Fresh ovalini. It's it's like the size of a, you know, a small little baby fist. And then mm -hmm. um, and then I brought some pearls to put on the top. Mozzarella, yeah, nice. mozzarella pearls. Mm -hmm. And I don't put a lot of cheese in between. Just a little and some sauce. I don't make it overly cheesy. The top yeah. I like to put the cheese on. The top I like when it when the mozzarella gets all brown. Oh, I love that. And I really, it's really important to me to have the eggplant be crispily, nicely cooked. Uh, yes. So that you feel like, you know, okay, now I'm going to put a little olive oil in the onions. Um, they're begging to me. They're calling to me. They're telling me all of the olive oil. We need oil, Lisa. Um, we need some. Um, here's the panko crispy breadcrumbs Italian style. Nice. Where'd you get those? I got those at the marketplace. Oh, I found toilet paper today for the first time what? in like three weeks. <laughs> oh my God. Where's that sprout? Don't tell anyone where you found it. No, I'm just kidding. It was like $11 for nine rolls. Wow. Well, now they could gouge because everybody wants it. It's amazing to me. Yeah, um, it is. I, I don't get the, the hoarding of the toilet paper myself, but hey. There is a comfort. Just yeah. to have some more. <laughs> I know. I was really, I had my spidey sense working. It was the, the week or two before all this started. I was in Costco and I thought, I'm going to buy paper towel and toilet paper while I'm here. So I have enough for at least two months. Fresh By then, I'm hoping everyone will calm down. Did you have? Do you have fresh basil? Fresh basil for the sauce, oh, girl. Yay! And I'm going to um, put this probably save leaves for the top for presentation, even though it's only my family and they probably don't appreciate it, but they might. Yes. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> yes, I appreciate it. Well, you know, there's going to be a photo contest this week, so everyone submit your best pictures. Have you noticed how the photos have gotten just a wee bit better? 
So a wee bit. bit. A wee bit. <laughs> trying us a little bit harder. It's kind of like when you know you're going to be uh, have a student council election and <laughs> <laughs> or a couple people over to dinner, you use the nice cloth napkins, not the ones you use every day. <laughs> oh what? Who has? Who out there has relatives that just won't use the good stuff? I mean, oh my God, I'll never get over. Yeah. My grandma, you know, she used to hermetically seal her couches and glass <laughs> in the in the good living room. Like you know that scene in my fat my big fat Greek wedding. Yes. She's sitting there. She's sitting there with her parents watching TV on this plastic. On the plastic, yes. And the, the, grapes, couch. the grapes hanging in, in um <laughs> in glass giant. And I remember seeing this movie with my mom, my two sisters, and my grandma. And we sat there and we just went the entire theater just cracking up. And we're like, <laughs> but wait, that <laughs> that looks like our house. No, right? <laughs> I know we, we had the, the statues that had the arms like this and then they had like those dew drop, oh um, my God. Glass, you know, cut glass things. <laughs> incredible, incredible. But we used to give my grandma gifts, so, such nice gifts. And and then we'd be like, well, why would you ever wear that one? It's too nice. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to mess it up. I mean, like, okay. And then after she passed, after a hundred years, Going back through her drawers, you know, we find these beautiful things wrapped yeah, in, in perfect condition, right? Yeah. Wrapped in tissue because mm -hmm. she loved them, but she didn't want to use them. <laughs> I use the good stuff all the time. So because you know, if you figure out, I don't know, if you, you only use the 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 silverware on holidays, then maybe by the you know, in 20 years you've used it 20 times. I'm like, well, that doesn't make any sense. I'm look at it, Debriana. That's a really good way to look at it. I mean, I, I don't know. That's my math head going. But so 20 times is stupid. Why would you spend that kind of money on something that you might use, okay, over your lifetime 45 times? I don't know. That doesn't seem like enough. <laughs> I say enjoy life. Bring out the good crystal. Bring out the silver. Why not? It's yep. fun. Get and so when I do it, it gives me joy all the time. Yes, get festive. It's totally fun, and why not? Okay, so I'm going to post this recipe. Um, the onions are looking good. Nice. Um, so the recipe. How many cloves of garlic did you do? I'm just going to, I don't know. I just kind of winged it. <laughs> um, it is three. Oh, my God. I did three, and it is three. I don't even remember reading this because I did. So basically what the marinara sauce is going to be is two medium chopped onions, three left uh, chopped garlic. I'm going to do the San Marzano. Mm. Um, tomatoes, two large cans, but I think I'm also going to add some pomi. You use pomi? I do. This, I like it. This stuff's good. Really good. Anything made in Italy is usually pretty great. Um, tomato paste, wine, instant coffee granules. In the sauce? One and one half teaspoons instant coffee granules. I'm not making this up. Wow. Now that I have never heard of, but I have some. Do you want some? <laughs> Why did why did you do that for to wake up? <laughs> I don't know. Why? Wow! Somebody that? had coffee left over, and someone was cooking and didn't want to waste the last shot of coffee. And put it in there. You know, it was something like that. You know, yeah. it had nothing to do with the flavor. I'd say you don't have to do that one, but I could just put some in for fun. Um, crushed twelve crushed basil leaves, uh, marjoram. Sea salt, which I don't have. Sea salt, black pepper, um, and that's about it. And it's just it has to cook for a while. But the good thing about the um, eggplant parmesan is you can not have the sauce completely done. You're gonna bake it. It's gonna cook even more with the sauce, and then you save the sauce. 
Yes. You reheat it and then it gets its all its good flavors and everything. So, so I, I think marjoram is kind of like a, a weaker oregano. Like it has a similar flavor. It's just not as strong as oregano. I don't know about you, but um, my grandma had every um, spice known into humans in her spice cabinet. Mm -hmm. and I'm sure the marjoram was like, you know, she had reasons for all the stuff. Um, and that was, you know, my Aunt Georgia. So I don't know. Maybe she has a secret coffee thing. I wonder if Chris is watching. Yeah. He remembers. That's, that's a question. The Why the coffee? I don't know. Oh. Well, you know, when I moved one time, I was moving from my apartment to my house. And I had a friend of mine helping me pack my kitchen. And she did not cook. So I just put her in the kitchen. I said, Ruby, just pack these cabinets. And there was my spice cabinet and stuff like that. And she was laughing her fanny off, going, I don't know what any of this is. Like, my spice cabinet is so full. She had no idea. Like, she doesn't know past salt and pepper. She wow. had no idea what she was packing. It was so wow. funny. Bless her heart. Bless her yeah. heart. You know? I say but everybody... I that's writing in, oh no, this is one of those things where I need the scissors. Um, you know, just, we're all just doing our best here. You know what I mean? Yeah. There are people that have been, <laughs> that have been posting like grilled cheese sandwiches and, you know, <laughs> I didn't have time. So I just made peanut butter and apples and it's like, hey, good for you. You did something. Yeah. You know? yep. So don't feel bad or guilty. There's no judgment here. And uh, well, everybody's doing the best they can under the circumstances. Just do the best you can. And, you know, for the person who, there was one lady who baked a chocolate cake. She said, I haven't baked one in absolute years. And she was inspired to do that. I think that is really awesome. Me too. You know? Yeah. This is, this is the time. This, this, you know, we'll look back on this because it's it feels like it's long now, but when it's over and we're all back to work, everyone's gonna go, Oh, I loved it when I had more time. <laughs> I know. I, I was just thinking that too. Like as an artist, wouldn't it just be amazing to have like a disposable dress fund to just <laughs> cook and create all day? Yeah. <laughs> and not have to yeah. work money. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Cook and write all day. That would be so fun. Well, or so I'm sewing, but I'm ready. Uh, how's that looking? It's it. I can almost smell it over here. <laughs> so good in here. I'm gonna add the garlic right now, and then um, the dogs are salivating. Monty, light up, light up, Edgar. <laughs> so you're not putting any um, tomato paste in there? I'm going to. Yeah, I have to get it out of the refrigerator. Thank you for reminding me. You're welcome. <laughs> but it's it, it, <laughs> just because I always do the paste first. Well, when I'm talking to you, I'm cooking at the same time, it's, you know, it's like rubbing your tummy and patting your head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting better at it, but um, here's, my, here's my toothpaste. Yay, toothpaste to tomato paste. When the kids first saw this, they're like, Mommy, do we, is this red toothpaste? Yeah, no. In Italy, everyone has red toothpaste. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so there's the concentrate going in there. Um, now I'm going to start putting in spices and then I'm going to figure out the eggplant situation. Um, I'm going to start flipping them over. Yeah, I was going to ask you, do you you have them on a towel, like a dish uh, towel, right? A dish, a cotton, all cotton dish, clean dish towel without any bacteria or, or you know, just got one out of the drawer. Mm -hmm. We don't realize how filthy our dish towels get. <laughs> to, um, you know. Well, if you're going to put food on them, yeah, you got to make sure they're clean. Sometimes I forget. <laughs> When I give advice, it's usually for me. <laughs> <laughs> Pay attention to me, me. Pay attention. Listen to what you're saying. Um, so so yeah. how, thick, how thick did you cut those? I would say probably about a half 
to three quarter inch. They're thicker than I, they're not thin. Do you make them thinner? I do. Well, but uh, you don't have to. You can pound them out too. I know people that take off the skin and pound them and do different. Little oh things. yeah, I do too. I don't do that though. Cause I like the skin. I feel like skin is where all the vitamins are. It is. That's why I wouldn't cut it off. Yeah. But I, I just like it the way it looks when it's, when you take the skin off, they're white. It, there's, it's not interesting. <laughs> I know. Right. Okay. So this says 12, 12 basil leaves lightly, lightly crushed or lightly sliced. I'm going to do that. Um, here's four, five. Well, I saw somebody in our group talking about how to do a chiffonade, but you don't have to do that. Oh. Just like, yeah, Some, somebody did that. Well, there you go. Um, we wanted to take a poll if people wanted. Here's some things that I've heard people want. Um, the recipes ahead of time. So like say that morning or the night before so you can cook along. Yeah, that would be fun. If you guys want to do that, we'll, we'll try and figure out a recipe ahead of time. Let us know if that's what you want to do. Again, this releases, whenever you chop the herbs, it releases them. All Those of, essential oils in there. All of their goodness is released. But then oh, it smells. I can smell it. Yay. Smells <laughs> good. Okay, uh, I'm going to do, I, I might put two of my original here. <laughs> <laughs> because you have to. Um, Are you going to put any wine in there? Any what? Red wine. Oh, I already did that one. Should I put okay. more? <laughs> okay, how could you have too much? <laughs> uh, shout out to Dad and the fam, Lucas and Llewellyn. Again, with the Malbec 2016. Nice. Um, we just watched a great video. Um, on Facebook, Lucas and Llewellyn, the tasting rooms are obviously closed in Solvang, California. Yes. And it's sad, but they did, they're doing some great um, mail orders. And the oh, nice. club and um, Angie and Andy, who run the tasting room, were doing a great video of showing how they are really conscious of cleaning off the bottles before they pack them out to you and the cleaning. Oh, that's great. That. And, it's really nice. I've preached yeah. that um, video a lot. It made me feel better because you wonder you're ordering this stuff, and you know. Yeah. Well, what are people doing when they pack it? Okay. What? Oh, the chili. My <laughs> own <laughs> chili. Well, I, I would be putting in at least crushed red pepper, so the chimayo chili is just fine. I am going to do that, and I'm also going to put some honey because you know how I feel about the sweet with the tomato. Yep, um, I do. Because it, it really mellows it out. Um, I'm going to... Yeah, it cuts the acid a little bit. Dad, uh, my father-in-law always puts in a carrot. Yes, or a little bit of brown sugar, some people. Yeah, a little bit of brown sugar works too. I I don't add it because I, I don't have a sweet tooth, so... This is... I, my <laughs> husband wishes I would, though. <laughs> He's funny from Albuquerque. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, nice. Okay, this is going to take care of my allergies right here. <laughs> mm. This lady, once when I was working um, at Reels Channel, she had terrible allergies, the woman who ran accounting. And so she'd have this vat of honey next to her desk. And I'm like, what's that for? It's like a big spoon. She's like, I take local honey every half hour and I, it was the only thing that cured my allergies. Wow. Kind of that's makes sense. Amazing. It kind of makes sense. Um, I, well, and, and that's kind of fun. Does she just take it by the teaspoon or put it in some tea or something? Either. Most of the time she just takes a big teaspoon of it, like every half hour. Wow, that's a lot of sugar though. <laughs> I'm like, how oh, you go through that big gallon thing pretty fast? I have no allergies, but I now weigh 352 pounds. Right? <laughs> um, so I'm going to, I think, do an example fry up of, of an eggplant. I'll just do a mini, you know, little uh, like a cookie. panko dress fry thing. Um, 
Do you so are you gonna use an egg wash? What are you doing? I'm gonna do egg with a little bit of cream. Okay. You have cream? <laughs> well, half and half. I yeah, I know. The the golden half and half. <laughs> can you see what I'm doing? Okay, yeah. I can. Okay. And then I'm just going to take a fork and make it, you know, I'm going to put a little bit of salt in here. I'll make a, a little mountain of panko. Oh, by the way, we're going to make fresh pasta. Someone asked, someone asked and I okay. don't have a pasta machine. I used to have one, but I, I don't have one presently, and I know how to make it without. Yeah, we grew up making it without. You make the mountain of the flour and the egg and then you yep. roll it out and then you cut it with a little knife. I love doing it. That's right. Yep. Very rustic. Yeah. That's how we grew up doing it. Or we would make, you know, make shapes with our hands, like for Cavadale or whatever. So yeah, that's fun, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes. So we'll do there that. You. Someone asked about that. I'm like, absolutely. So hey, did, did your family make spatzel? Oh yeah. We called it spetzel. Yeah, I bet you, I, I would assume that you would have grown up doing I that. I mean, that. We, have we made it, but it's not exactly Italian, but it's close enough. We have a lot of Germanic stuff. I was just looking at the Croatian version of the Corona Kitchen, which is, mm -hmm. by the way. And, oh, my gosh. And they just did a really cool um, cabbage special thing only yesterday. Mm -hmm. It was great. So here's some egg, which I just did. I'm going to take a little bit of... Um, Half and half, which by the way, you get this at Whole Foods. It was a total downer. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Kelowna Supernatural, but you didn't foam up in my foamer. And no, I don't. I don't like that one. It doesn't. It's. It doesn't have enough butter fat in it. That's what it is. It's all I had. Normally, I would never buy dairy in a plastic thing, but yeah. Um, but it's well, there, there is not enough butter fat in that brand for my taste. There is not, and it doesn't foam. And I was extremely disappointed. And I don't. I'm not afraid to talk about it. Um, <laughs> we'll out you on the show. We'll out you. Yes, that's right. <laughs> yes, the the triple plastic egg thing. No, it's a no go. <laughs> Only if you need it. I'm just going to do the small pan. Normally, this would be in a gigantic pan. Um, yeah. And what I would do is, well, let me put some oil in there. Oh, pat it down. <laughs> I'm actually going to do what I said I wasn't going to do, which is be the olive oil. Sometimes I add a little butter. Yeah, I, that the butter can burn though. Doesn't it? Doesn't if you have enough oil in it though. I it think it won't. No, it can't be too hot. Um, so can you see what I'm doing? So um, I can. I'm going to take. Now, if you saw the sweat coming off of these things, it's um, amazing, isn't it? When they do that, wow, it's incredible. I can't believe how long I went not understanding it. Um, and not do it. Getting them? Just thinking, oh, I, don't, I can skip that part. You really can't. No. You really can't skip it. Okay, so I'm going to direct, I'm going to put it in the egg little wash thing. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put it just like you did with your hokey the other night. Yes. Um, my little hokey. <laughs> do the hokey. Mm -hmm. hokey. <laughs> it's, oh my God, it's slippery. Okay. So I'm just getting it all on there. Oh, and this has some really nice um, spices in it already, and I don't want it to be too crazy. But um, yeah, so I eat, I would get a whole bunch like this, and then I put them yeah. in the pan, and then I'm gonna fry one up for an example. And then you know, like lasagna and anything like that, you're layering mm -hmm. something to be baked and. Everyone has theories about that. I don't know what you're, how you do it, but like I like to put a little bit of olive oil on the bottom, and then I put some sauce, and then I put the stuff. Mm -hmm. What do you do on the bottom? I don't. I just lay the sauce right, right in. You put the sauce. Yep. I don't usually put olive oil in there first, but hey, olive oil only make it taste better. Sometimes I put butter on the top, little pieces. <laughs> 
<laughs> in all three. Um, so I'm frying, I'm frying this up. I'll show you what it looks like. And that's what will be in the layers uh -huh. with the mozzarella. In between, yeah. I'm not going to do too high. Maybe. Well, your your slices are thick. You probably don't yeah. need to go that way. Like too high, probably. And um, I'll cut it in half so you can see the inside of the final final. Okay. Part. But that's pretty much it. Oh, I love, I love, love, love it. And I wish I was going to go over there and eat it with you. I wish you were here right now because it so, smells so good and it's going to be so tasty. And you can mm. drink it just like anything else. Um, and, you know, it just reminds me of home and family. And I miss them all right now. Yeah. As we're talking. Yeah. Who do you miss right now? Who do you wish? You could beam anybody into your kitchen right now. Who would it be from your family? Um, let's see. My grandpa oh, on my dad's side. Yeah, he, he used to cook when we were kids. He would make um, smelt. Did you ever eat smelt? You know, I have. And they're, they're fried like potato chips. They're tiny little fish. They're delicious. And they're like, my mom loves them. Good. Oh, I love them. We grew up eating those. And whenever we would go over to spend the weekend at their house, he would he would make smelts and mm -hmm. and we'd sit in front of the TV and watch Mitch Miller <laughs> sing along. Aww. That sounds good. That sounds so nice. Oh, I would give anything to have my grandparents. Um, but if I was dealing with people who were alive, it would yes, be live ones. definitely um, my sister's my cousins, yeah, um, my mom and my stepdad, you know, we just all get together and we all love to cook and it's so fun to have the family dinners and mm -hmm. just, we just have a blast. We have Croatian Dance Party USA on the holidays. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> it's a little weird. Uh, but we, you know, everyone has to get get out their yard and be able to be themselves with their family. I, I feel so fortunate that at least yeah. outside of the family is, you know, yeah. we're really close. So that's so nice. And I'm glad you made eggplant. It made me feel homey. Oh, nice. Yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. I hope other people are feeling homey. Um, keep, keep asking the questions. We're so, you know, yeah, we'll figure out a recipe that we can all make together and we'll post the ingredients and let you know when we're going to do that. That'll be fun. Um, yeah, it will be. <laughs> and keep yeah. cooking. Don't keep be cooking. Afraid. Don't be afraid. We will not be judged on the Corona Kitchen. If you can make cream cookies and saltines, we will salute you. Okay. That's right. Take a beautiful picture and we'll post it. <laughs> in the banner who knows <laughs> uh, well have fun making your your eggplant thank you so much and i will post it when i'm done okay Ciao. see you everybody Ciao. Bye. <laughs> good didn't